Hi everyone, this quick video is to give you a few tips if you are going through adrenal fatigue or something similar where you may be highly stressed or just kind of overwhelmed and feeling really fatigued. Um, look, I went through this the first time about 10 years ago, which kind of led me from being a traditional fitness trainer in the gym world into doing more of the Pilates and the yoga, meditation and Tai Chi and looking at more holistic ways to exercise and live my lifestyle so that I wouldn't have to experience this extreme fatigue. So I know how it feels, right? It's like you're probably feeling right now that you've just got nothing left in your tank. It's absolutely horrible. And you can sleep for, you know, seven, eight, 10 hours a night and still feel like you need to sleep another three hours in the day. That's pretty much what I was doing at the worst of my um, adrenal fatigue. And it took two years for a, a holistic doctor to actually diagnose me with the problem because I thought, well, what's going on here? You know, I'm supposed to be this fit personal trainer. I was getting my client's results, but I felt like crap every time I um, I would go home after teaching those um, gym sessions and personal training sessions at the gym and think, oh my gosh, I literally can't function. Like you feel numb, you feel um, really empty, your emotional well being's up and down and you have really strong cravings. So here's a few tips to help you um, address a few of these things. Um, just in this short video, if you want extra explanation of this, you know, post a question below and I'll answer it specifically for you. But here's my top tips to help with uh, adrenal fatigue to boost your energy now now just to help you through. So first thing is we've got to identify what's going on in our lifestyle to be causing this fatigue and stress. Are you working too hard? Are you over committing? Are you taking on just too much where you're trying to maybe please people or please people at work, please your family, your friends? You know at some point you've got to say no to things and that's a big thing I learned because I used to try and please everyone and be part of everything. I didn't want to miss out on social functions or things at work or opportunities, right? But at some point or another you need to take care of yourself and your health and put yourself first. So that's the first tip. Identify what's going on in your lifestyle to be causing the overcommitting or the stress. Okay, second thing is food here. So the food tip for, for you, if you're going through this right now, is to listen to your body, but within reason. What I mean by that is you are gonna have strong cravings for sometimes carbohydrates and salty foods. Like I used to have literally a bag of Doritos or corn chips because I really wanted that, that kind of cheesy chip flavor. That was my strong craving that I had and that's often a sign that you're low on other nutrients like magnesium, like vitamin Bs and so forth. So, what you wanna do is avoid processed foods. So if you're craving that salty stuff, get some olives. Get something that's savory but a little bit more healthy. Um, get loading up on your vegetables, your legumes, your lentils and things like that and try not to have white processed foods, sugar. Do not have pastries or um, lollies and processed sugars. They will just spike your blood sugar and bring it back down when you're already fatigued in your adrenals, right? So your adrenals you know, manage energy and um, metabolism and, and so forth. Now the next tip, tip I've got for you here is to exercise holistically. So right now, if you are exercising, or if you're not, let's talk about if you are first. If you are exercising, you need to tone down your workouts. There's so many people I've met, and I was one of them, who is doing high intensity, high impact, aerobic, weights, boot camps type stuff. And if you're going through adrenal fatigue or similar, your body is already running on empty, so you can't go below that threshold. You're already pushed to the max. In this case, you need to take a step back and be okay with that and actually look at doing your slower Pilates, your controlled body strength movements, yoga Pilates, Tai Chi, meditation, and just walking in nature without the intensive stuff that adds more stress to your body. So using exercise now as a de-stress mechanism, not a stress mechanism. And it becomes a stress to you when you start doing the high impact, high intensity stuff. Sometimes you think, oh, it's a stress relief to do it. However, if you're already burnt out, experiencing fatigue or overwhelm, I suggest you steer clear of the hyper, hyper stuff, fast music, bring it down. So you've got to restore your energy and give your body back some good energy in the sense of movement and muscular activation, right? So Pilates is my number one go-to. Yoga's fantastic, restorative yoga as well. Um, have a look at some of my videos on the YouTube for that as well, okay? The next tip I've got for you is be ready to change your lifestyle. 
If you are not sleeping great, you need to sleep. Okay, so even if it's not perfect at the moment, you're getting up at 2 a.m. I know I used to be so fired up at 2 a.m. and ready to take on the world. Do a five minute session of Pilates or something or some stretching or go eat a light meal of protein and carbohydrates um, just a little bit to get you back to fall asleep again. Sleep is so important and I talk about this in one of my modules in my higher living program, but getting your sleep restored. So decrease stimulants in your room, get rid of um, excessive noise, have a salt lamp in your room, take some magnesium or magnesium spray on your body before bed um, and just try and meditate through the day if you're not sleeping straight through for at least six to seven hours. So if you're cutting short of six to seven hours, 10 minute blocks to 20 minute blocks of meditation where your legs are up the wall will really help you to just get your body a bit more balanced, get your brain waves into those nice relaxed states like you do when you're sleeping because you need that deep sleep to restore. So again, just a quick intro video to give you some tips if you are suffering from this, I know how it feels, it's horrible. Anyways, post some questions below and I'll be happy to help you reach out if you need anything else. I'll see you on the next video, bye.